Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're doing something a bit different, a bit less snapperingish. Uh, this is a Zippo lighter, and I picked this up at Walmart. Uh, kind of, you know, as an impulse buy, I would say. Uh, I used to collect Zippos and lighters, vintage lighters in general, like uh, some years ago. And I hadn't had a new Zippo in a long time. I think probably close to over 15 years ago. I think I bought uh, a new Zippo lighter. And I figured I'd check it out and see what's going on with Zippo these days. Still says made in USA. So that's pretty good. Uh, but before we jump into it. If you guys, you know, I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, and I'm almost there. I'm probably like 60 or 50 short. So if you guys, at the last minute here, can help me out and hit the subscribe. Hit the like also while you're there, and help me to reach my 2,000 subscriber goal. All right, so here's the Zippo. This is probably the cheapest Zippo you're going to find. <clears> or <throat> oh, the lowest price one. This was uh ten ninety something, so eleven dollars for the Zippo, and they call this one BP regular street brass. So kind of like uh not the shiny polished one, kind of like just the uh, the non polished, I guess to save some money. And uh, so you can, they can pass pass along the savings. Genuine wind windproof lighter. Lighter does not come pre-filled, so you know you have to uh, buy a lighter fluid. Or there's other alternatives to lighter fluid if you don't want to spend because usually lighter fluid uh, they sell at a premium. And there are other alternatives like um, I've used NAFTA. Like uh, you buy it in the half gallon or quartz, the NAFTA from like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, the the those metal cans, and the NAFTA is pretty much lighter fluid. So if you want to save, you can get that. And there are other fluids. So let's check out, see what I'm gonna cut it here. Like these have the cut marks there showing, and open this up. Let's see what's inside. But uh, just a quick look at the back. It has lifetime guarantee, one proof, made in USA, reusable, reliable spark, built to last. Made in USA. Still in Bradford, PA. And let me see, did that help at all? That cut. Uh, mm. Probably not. Oh, let me see what. Okay. Oh boy. They tell you to cut the thing there, but it doesn't really do much when you cut it there. Let me see. Maybe I should cut it closer. Okay, let's see if that helps any. That's a little bit better. And here that is. And what else? Inside that looks to be like a little booklet. And genuine. And it gives you some, uh, get started with your new lighter, how to fill the lighter, and how to replace the flint in your zipper. And there's like a diagram that shows you all that, which is pretty simple. Don't know why you would need to uh, go find probably a video. Okay. 
So here it comes with a childproof sticker. And here's a look at the finish. It's got the brass uh, look, not chrome. And here is on the bottom, Bradford PA, made in USA, has the date code. Uh, you see the 23 there, next to Zippo, that's 2023. Also has a letter code uh, in front of the Z. I think that's an I, I'm not sure what that is, maybe month. Let's see if I can take the sticker out. Let's see what you get now. Okay, this is what it looks like when you first buy them, brand new. The flint, let's see the flint. Yeah, the flint is working. And to fill these with fluid, you would take them out. This also has a date code, uh, the insert it has 23, and this one has J leather. And that's what they look like. They have these letters, some writing, best results. Use Zippo Flint and Fluid, Zippo Manufacturing Company. Keep away from children. After filling, wipe lighter, hands before lighting. Lighter does not self-extinguish. Close lid to put it out. And to fill it. Says lift to fill, so you take this mattress. I forgot what they call these, and you lift it up, you lift it up like that, and then you take your fluid and you fill it up in there. And those cottons, cottons, or something else, some other material, and then you put it back on and you. Put it back into the case with the the cocking piece or the closing piece uh, pointed towards <coughs> the top. Let's take this apart and see what else is in there. This has a screw. Usually, you can take a coin, like a penny or something, and open it up. Maybe, okay, I did it. This is on the spring tension, so. And here is the spring that pushes up on the flint. It's basic. And the flint. And this is what the flint looks like. It's a new flint. Uh, they say use uh, Zippo flints. I would use, I would probably use a Zippo flint. Just for the reason that Zippo flints don't usually deteriorate as fast as some flints. Because if you just use some cheaper flints, what I found is that they, uh, they seem to shed or or get uh, gritty or city with the moisture in the air or something. If if you leave a lighter with a bad flint in it for like a year or two, sitting around without use, and that that soot will expand, and it will get your flint stuck. <clears throat> it will get your flint stuck in this channel. And on some lighters, it's not as bad because it doesn't have a uh, you can somehow uh, remove the flint or the flint isn't on top of it like that or uh, you can take them apart and some of the older lighters like different designs than these and you can uh, ram with a with a punch you can ram uh, the stuck flints this will happen a lot if you collect older uh, if you collect older lighters, uh, you find them, the flints will be uh, expanded and they'll be stuck and 
some of them it's pretty hard to take out but on some you can take a pick or a punch a thin punch and just punch them out uh, with some luck and you'll get them dislodged this uh, these are harder because this this uh, wheel doesn't move at all it stays on top like that and the only thing I've found that you can do is to unpin this side here just lift up the lip here and then punch this out a little bit move it to the side and then punch uh, the flint out and uh, that's worked and it's kind of a hassle and it doesn't look too good ask me how I know <laughs> because uh, yeah I had to do that on these sometimes uh, not too bad uh, not not really complicated but it just looks sloppy when you put it back together see how clean the pin is there like you have to unpin it and then do what you gotta do and then repin it it doesn't look that great when you put it back together but it'll work it does work uh yeah basically that's it with these and to reflint it you just drop the flint in the hole like that and then take this piece and just mash it in it's gonna it's kind of squirrely up here because when you mash it the spring wants to kink so just try to hold it as steady as possible and get a couple of threads in I don't have to hold now you can just turn it just finger tight it's good and you just put it back together <clears throat> got it all back together and you put your fuel in it and it should be working good uh, I've had cheap ones like this uh, non zippo ones for some reason zippo seems to work better than the cheap ones uh, don't know if it's I think it's the wicks the wicks are probably a lot better on the zippos than on those cheap ones it's like the fuel just doesn't seem to wick come through the wick really good so on the cheap ones you have to keep you have to keep uh sparking them so they'll light uh, but usually i've never had met much problems with the zippos so for 11 bucks made in usa not too bad okay guys until next time